Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I'm taking a look at Transformers Generations Legacy United Prime Universe Thundertron. And this is, surprisingly, the second Thundertron mold we've gotten. Thundertron was a character that was in the Align continuity. Um, I think his only media appearance was in some books that came out as, like, prequels to Transformers Prime. Um, and, you know, he's a pirate lion guy, um, one of the star seekers, so not an Autobot or a Decepticon. And I'm mostly just surprised we got a toy of him. Uh, the character hasn't been, like, relevant, I mean, ever, but hasn't been in media for, like, 10 years. So it's kind of neat that we got a toy. And he does transform into a pretty cool-looking lion. Um, there is this, like, implied mane around his face with these curved pieces. I'll say this, and I think the um, designers have admitted that they were heavily inspired by Zoids uh, animals. And he does carry that, like, things like his claws, the mechanical details. He is a very Zoids-looking mechanical lion. But I do like the way he looks. We've got a nicely painted head sculpt here. You know, some big blue eyebrows. They, which do have some like runes on them. That's kind of neat. Light blue eyes, a little bit of bronze paint, silver teeth, which I really appreciate, a mouth that articulates. Um, we do have a lot of dark blue paint, or uh, sorry, dark blue plastic with bronze paint on it, some white plastic, some dark gray plastic. I like the colors in general. He has this uh, sword that we'll talk about later that clips onto his back right here in this uh, uh, slot. And then he does have in black the Star Seeker logo, the Pirate Crew logo, which looks really neat. Other than that, I mean, it's a cool looking lion. I do have the original Thundertron, uh, so we can compare the two. And if we look at them, I, it, and it's, it's hard for me to remember, but I, I believe that this is yellowed. It was originally a whiter plastic. Um, but here we can see the two of them next to each other kind of uh the this is a case where the new toy is like significantly bigger and bulkier than the old one we do have some differences uh here on this toy these claws are way longer well the, these these pieces back here are longer i do like this uh like this this silver feathered um uh blended paint application on his back that's really neat um, but yeah, if we if we look at the two, I'd say this one definitely looks more like a lion. Uh, this one kind of has a wolf-like snout and stuff. Still, n neither one looking super like lions, but you know. Uh, I like the way they look together, you know, as comparisons. That's really neat. And again, it's just kind of cool that we've gotten a new Thundertron. I really wasn't expecting it. Uh, some minor gripes. I, I really prefer the way these legs work. These are great back legs. The front legs are a little skinny. And in terms of articulation, it can just go up and down. Um, to get things out, you have to unpeg the arm from his robot arm. Uh, that is a little unfortunate that there's no uh, hinge or slot or anything to give you rotation here. The paws can also articulate up and down like so. So you get, you know, a little bit of front leg articulation. Uh, the mouth can open up pretty wide. I do like that. Uh, the back legs have all sorts of articulation. So there is a swivel here. There's a swivel sideways here at the knee, or that's actually at the thigh. Then we have another one at the knee. Uh, it can curl up, it can uncurl. Uh, depending on how you want to break up the leg sculpt, this piece can also move. And then on the left leg, there is ankle tilt. On the right leg, there is not, but we'll talk about why later. But yeah, overall, it's kind of a neat looking, unique lion design. Uh, and it's neat that it's a faction that is not uh, one of our typical ones. Uh, and let's get into transformation. Let's transform him. All right, to start out, we are going to unpeg his lion arms, the front arms here. Uh, we can come on the back and we are going to straighten out these legs all the way. So these knee joints go in, this leg straightens out here. Same thing on this side, everything just straightens out. And there is our robot leg. We just got to rotate the thighs forward on either side, like so. Next up front, we can unpeg from the bottom of his mane his two hands, which with those out of the way, come out. 
and then flip out like so. And we can see here, flipping it this way gives us shoulder rotation and elbow rotation. Same thing on that side. Then up top, the back of the mane connects to his back uh, in, in one spot back here. We can lift up these, like, I don't know, his back wing section. Uh, and then up front, untab there. And that lets us take this whole back assembly, move it down, while taking the front assembly, moving that down. And we can collapse onto his chest, the lion head. We want to flip out those two main sections and rotate. Let's see if we can rotate things. There we go. Like so. Then the very last thing is just, well, second very last thing. We're going to collapse up his lion arms on either side. And close out the back. All right, it's time to announce the winner of Transformers Generations Legacy United Voyager Class Animated Universe Optimus Prime. Uh, if you haven't seen one of our giveaway videos before, uh, over on the left here are all the comments on the video. If you enter the giveaway and answer the question of the day, then you got a little heart. And that's how I kept track of who all entered the giveaway. Over here on the right are all the entries. We had 33 entries today. So let's see, ran between one and 33. We have winner is number 11. 11, oh, TF Fan Geek, congratulations. Uh, we reach out to me on you know social media. We're on Facebook, Discord, Twitter, wherever. Um, and we'll get Animated Optimus Prime bundled up and shipped out to you next week. All right, let's get back to the review. And here is Thundertron in his robot mode. He, he has a couple gimmicks, but we'll start out uh, just by looking at this. And we do have what I think is a really neat head sculpt. It kind of evokes that admirable Admiral's hat, like Naval Officer's hat. Not exactly the same thing as his original head sculpt, but still pretty neat. I like the silver painted beard. I like the eyes. It looks really good. We have what I feel is a really nicely broken up body in terms of colors. We have dark blues, dark grays, more white again. Everything looks really neat. We've got uh, lion paws uh, on his wrists. Uh, we've got, you know, the bronze on his legs and feet. That all looks pretty dang good. And he's pretty articulated. The head uh, can swivel and tilt and all that stuff. The only thing it can't do, unfortunately, is look back because of this bar that's in a way that does feel like a miss that there, there should have been maybe something we could have done to pop up the neck joint a little bit to give us a little more back tilt in terms of articulation. The shoulders, uh, the arms can go 360 on the joint, but they will run into these pauldrons. These pauldrons cannot get out of the way, so we are limited in terms of articulation on both sides this way and this way. We can go less than 90. Again, the pauldron gets in our way. We do have elbow rotation here, bicep swivel. We do have a 90 degree elbow joint here. We do get, with this joint, we get some like butterfly motion, which I really appreciate. We do have some, it's really tight, but we do have some uh, rotation in the wrist here. You got to watch out because the, the lion paw gets in the way. These uh, side flaps, these skirt pieces can get up out of the way so that we can go out, you know, full Van Dam. We do not have waist swivel because of his transformation. We can kick up, not super high, kick back, basically not a, a little bit, but not much. Um, we do have a nice deep knee curl, which I appreciate. We do have thigh swivel. Um, we, like I said, the knee curl. We do have, again, the same ankle rotation. Oh, and I forgot to flip up these. There we go. So we have the same ankle tilt on this side and no ankle tilt on this side, but that is because this piece actually pops off and we've got a pirate peg leg. So with the peg leg, I'll say this, um, I it, it kind of makes sense. Like he's limited in terms of rotation, but I don't imagine him moving around a lot as a character. I, I feel like he's more of the captain of the ship uh, than anything else. And we can uh, take this slot and this tab, I believe, and stick things on. Like, oop, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I could have sworn this fits on somewhere. Ah, there it is. So we can combine things with his sword. 
And again, I think it's a pretty cool, and it's not the tightest combination. It's a pretty cool mold and design. Limited in terms of articulation. The transformation is nice and simple. Um, I like the way he looks. And he's, you know, a pretty decent sized Voyager if we compare him to his Wavemate Optimus Prime. They look pretty good next to each other. Um, but I'll say this. I think there's a couple things the original toy does that this one kind of missed the mark on. So here is the original Thundertron. First off, this is definitely bigger. I like that. But I think I like the colors over here more. I like the lighter blue, um, the silver. I think the, the bronze essentially looks the same. But if we notice on this Thundertron, we've got like a very different head sculpt, maybe a more primey head sculpt. Um, but I, I think I like this head sculpt a lot more. I like the way the lion head collapses in a little bit more. The light blue accents help out a lot. And then a big thing for me is I love these claw pauldrons on this toy a lot. That is a unique detail. It's just super, like, it, it. that design really seems evocative. And I was surprised that this doesn't do anything like that. It's, I mean, he's still got big shoulder pauldrons, so it keeps, like, that design note. But the, the method of execution is very different. Now, this does have some more articulation in certain areas, like the wrists and things like that, which is really important if you have a sword. Um, but my version, and a lot of people did this, I've got my foot turning into a little parrot guy. Uh, you know, pirates need their parrots. Um, and, and this version doesn't really seem to be able to do the same thing where you can have a parrot perched on the shoulder, um, which is, again, an unfortunate miss. Uh, so... Overall, I think if you're spending 35 bucks, both Voyagers are good Voyagers. You know, Optimus Prime is great. This guy is great. They did redeco this Thundertron in, I think, three different decos. They did, uh, there was this one. There was a, like, a black lion uh, Leo Prime, I think. There was a Go Prime, which was from, like, the animated Transformers Go show. And then there was an Alpha Trion repaint. So it had some repaint potential. I'd be really curious to see if this does get repainted. Because I think at the end of the day, I like the toy and I want to own this mold. But maybe not in these exact colors. Um, I like the colors. I, I really don't have much to say about the toy other than it's a little less articulated uh, than, than we're used to. But for me, um, that is like kind of on brand for the character. Uh, the transformation's fun and simple. The design is very evocative. If you've got, you know, 35 bucks burning a hole in your pocket, I don't think there's, you can't go wrong with either of the Legacy United Voyagers. Um, and that is, uh, that is it for today's look at Thundertron. Earlier, I announced the winner of Transformers Animated Prime, and we are doing a giveaway today. So, uh, Thundertron is kind of unique in that he only appeared in like a book, and then we're getting two toys of him. What is another Transformers toy uh, or character that has at least had a toy before and only appeared in one medium? Like, uh, not cartoons. Not, not any of the TV shows or movies. So, uh, comic books or, or, or books or anything. Uh, what What's a toy that you would like to see a new update of? You know, like Thundertron here. I don't even know if I... I have an answer to that. Ah, I guess I do. Um, uh, Victorian. Uh, the uh, Victorian combiner, I think, would be really neat to see. Uh, but if you would like to win a, a, a or enter for a chance to win Voyager class Thundertron, you can. You just go down to the comments below. You say you want to enter the giveaway and you answer the question of the day. And the question of the day is... Uh, give me another Transformers toy that you want to see updated that only the character only had a, a minor appearance in, in uh, print fiction. Uh, I know, more specific question than normal, but, uh, uh, you know, that's what we got to do. All right, that is it for today's look at Transformers Generations Legacy United Prime Universe Thundertron. Overall, a fun toy, and I'll catch you all uh, next week. Bye!